Nation, and today we're going to be teaching a Keyens IV3 camera. As you can see here, I have a Primetus Automation card that we're going to be teaching the camera good and no good part detection. So we're going to open up IV3 Navigator and select a new program while the camera is connected. We're going to go ahead and click Program. We're going to go to Sensor Setup, and we are going to use Standard Mode. As it loads up here, you can hear the camera focusing in the background. You can see we have the part that we are sensing as well. So we're going to do a smart image optimization and select the field that we want to focus on. If we focus on the entire screen, it might take our, uh, our process time up a little bit. So we're just going to focus on the card here. It's going to do an automatic focus, automatic lighting adjustment. See, it's running through all the different patterns. And we're just going to choose the one we fit for the application, which seems to be this one. It has decent lighting in the background. It's nice and focused. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Uh, you can see here is a bunch of different settings if you want to do some of this, some of these. Uh, Trigger options, focus adjustment, extended functions. So we're going to use an internal trigger. This is if you want to trigger it with a different source. Um, you could do the brightness adjustment and focus adjustment on its own. But the smart image optimization kind of does all that in the background. You can kind of see it get different lighting patterns. Um, you could use external lights as well different filters, and a flash versus continuous. We're going to stick with the flash for now. And I'm kind of liking all these settings. So we're going to go ahead and register this image as our master image. This will be the master image that all of our tools reference off of. Now that's the register. We're going to go to step three, which is going to allow us to add some tools. So I'm going to start with the posi position adjustment. What this allows us to do is orient our card in any different way and all of our tools will stay within the position adjustment. So I'm going to remove some outline here and I'm just going to stick with the outline of the card and give it one more reference point. And I will keep that as the prime test logo. And I'm just going to mask out all these other pixels here as the more pixels you have, the more processing time it will take. All the green pixels are the pixels that stay. The yellow ones are the ones that are masked out. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and do a live adjustment. This is a live image, and you can see as I move the card around, it follows the card as long as it's on the screen. So all of our teaching tools will move along inside of that box. Let's go ahead, OK, OK. And now we're going to add some AI tools. So we're going to go to Learning. Just select our region of interest, which is going to be the inside of the card. Let's focus there a little bit. Is it OK? And let's teach it good and no good targets. So right off the bat, we're going to say this is a past target, a past part. We're going to flip it around and say this just orient it on the screen there. Nice and straight. And we're going to say this is a not good target. And I'm going to flip it back around. You can see our position adjustment following the card there. Straighten it out a little bit. What I'm going to do is use this remote over here. We're going to block out a portion of the card and we're going to say that is not a good part. Block it out on the other side there and say that's not a good. Let's go ahead and start learning. We can always add more uh, 
okays and not good images later on, but this is a good starting point. Let's go to back to step four. These are a few more external outputs. We're going to go ahead and apply this program. Okay, and we're going to hit run at the top left here. As you can see, we have our position adjustment is reading a 96 out of 100, and our learning tool is skipping right around 95 to 100. As you can see, if I move the card around, it's still passing wherever it is. As you can see, if I block it, it starts to say the card is no good. You can see the value readings there. Now, if I wanted to give it a stricter pass, no pass set point, I can bring this all the way up to 90. So anything above 90 will be a pass, and anything below 90 will be a fail. So I'll try and hit 90 right there on the edge. You can see once I start to dip below, that's when it starts to fail apart. Flip the card around here. You can see that's just saying it's not a good part of the entire time. Let's put the card back on there, and that's how you teach a key inside V3 using some position adjustments and some AI teach tools. Brian with Prime Test Automation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.